What's going on guys? Tony Maritato. Welcome to the Total Knee Replacement Support Group. In this video, I'm going to show you five of my favorite strategies using a basic agility ladder to get you back to walking normally after your knee replacement. Now you can do this in the first week of rehab and you can do this in the 12th week of rehab. There's never a good or bad time to do it. You just gotta do it and you gotta do it safely. So if you notice, I'm inside this hallway, that's why the lighting is so awful. But what we're gonna do is, the reason why I love the hall is because if I take a step, I can kind of touch and control both sides, but it's not giving me the downward support or the upward support that a walker would give me. So let's just get right into it. Let's start super basic. My feet are behind the first bar. I take a step and I recover. I'm looking down. You don't have to do this blind. You can look at where you're stepping, where you're walking. The goal is you just want heel toe motion. Now this could be my replaced surgical side. I could start with my non-surgical side to build some support, build some confidence, get myself in the right state of mind. This is my right leg. Video is probably gonna reverse it. And then when I turn around, now I can use my surgical side to lead the motion. I can touch the wall to kind of have that security. And it's just a step and stop, step and stop. So this is pattern number one. I usually recommend each of these patterns be done at least two laps, sometimes three, if you have the energy for it. So now pattern number two, one foot in each square. That was what we would call two feet in each square. Now one foot in each square, I step, I step, and I'm just making sure that I don't step on the black lines and I don't step on the white lines. This forces me to lengthen that stride just a little bit to start normalizing and feel heel to toe progression. I do the same thing going back. You control your speed. You want to know that you can kind of stabilize. You can stop if you need to. This is a really important fundamental motion. Now what's the next step? So those are two of my favorites, normalized forward walking. Lateral stepping or side stepping is really important and sometimes challenging after a knee replacement. So if it was my left knee that was replaced, I'm gonna start the motion of side stepping to my non-surgical side. So I'm loading the non-surgical leg each time I take this step. I've got the wall in front of me in case I need it. I can look down to where I'm stepping so I have a target in place. This is not gonna be heel toe gait pattern. This is gonna be more toe heel to kind of accept the weight of the leg. One thing I try to include in all of my educational material, don't drag your feet. So if I take a step and I drag my feet, the ladder is gonna come with me. This is forcing me to lift and step, lift and step. So of course, if we do a lateral step like that, now what we wanna do is we wanna work on a crossover step. And so once again, if this is my surgical leg closest to the camera, I'm gonna use my non-surgical leg to step across in front. Step across in front. You might call this a grapevine. There's lots of names for it. If this position is just too difficult right now because you don't have the knee extension to make it happen, you can kind of cheat a little bit by keeping one leg outside of the ladder so I step across with my front leg, and then I bring my trailing leg next. I step across, bring my trailing leg. So this is pattern number four. And then finally, pattern number five, we're gonna hit the back leg, right? So I kind of, I can bias myself forward of the ladder just a little bit. I've got my wall in front of me, I can step behind and then I bring my lead leg to the next square. I step behind, lead leg forward. So you've just got this trailing motion that's happening. The better you get, the further you can take that step. Those five patterns are really gonna be the key to unlocking that normalized gait. And I would tell you that 
look at videos, look at pictures, look at yourself before you had surgery. Notice the little kind of um, alterations you had in your gait patterns before. And so don't be so hard on yourself. Give yourself plenty of time. Normal walking will come with practice, with rehearsal, using some of these drills and other drills I'll share with you in other videos. But this just gives you a kind of a toy that you can play with. These are usually 20 or 30 bucks on Amazon uh, and just kind of breaks up the monotony of just going for a walk. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Post your questions in the comments below this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't and make sure you ring that little notification bell because that will ensure you get the latest updates when I post a new video. Other than that, thanks for your support. I'll catch you in the next video.